how to set up Roho for scripting in Roblox Studio. Uh, before we get on to the video, huge shout out to uh, Modern Chris fan. He was the first person to comment, uh, so shout out to him. Um, make sure when, if you want a shout out, you don't just say first because that, that's um, a bit rude. Uh, also. Uh, make sure it's your, the first person other than me, so don't count me. Uh, yeah. Okay, so now you want to create a new folder and name it the project. I'll name it video. And now, uh, you want to open this up. Uh, okay. And you want to go inside of Visual Studio Code. You want to click on a file. Uh, oh, and before you do that, you want to install Roho. Uh, so go to Roho on your thing. Roho, uh, make sure it's the official one, like this one. Click on the settings icon once you install it. Click on extension settings. Um, that's not supposed to happen. Okay, now you want to go inside of here, down, down. Wait, am I doing something wrong? <laughs> uh, uh, so, uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, huh, that's weird. No settings. Turn on settings. Um, uh, anyways, uh, you want to set up Roho. Um, this isn't, I mean, you want to actually install the extension and then uh, start setting the stuff up. Mine's already set up. You want to click open folder. Go into documents. Or wherever you put your ro Roho file folders. Then you want to click on your project. Now uh, it's going to load up. And click on yes I trust the authors. And now we're here. You want to click control to that. Yeah, don't do that. Um, now you want to click run a command. Wait, what's the key bind for that? Control shift P. Yeah, do that. Type in Roho initialize. Click it. And now it should start loading. It's activating extensions. And uh, yeah, here we go. Now it's initialized. Now you want to go control shift P. And go to build with project file. Go to default project.json. And now you should get build.rblxlx. You want to do control shift P and do start server with project file. Click that and click that again. Now our server is started. Now you want to reopen up your file explorer, which I'll be doing. So here we go. And now we click here. Now we have all this stuff. Before we didn't have this, click on build Arbia XLX. Now it's gonna load in Roblox. And then uh it should start working soon. Once Roho's all connected and set up. Now, when you uh, set up the Roho extension, when plugins, you should get Roho. Well, on click that and click connect. Now we have this, and uh, once you have that, you know that it's set up. So now you want to click here, go to SRC, you have client, server, and shared. You want to remove these init files, so just uh, hit control, uh, deselect the folders, and you just want to delete all of these. There we go. Now, you want to uh, go to server when you want to create a normal script. Now, click new file. Name it whatever you want the script to be called. I want to name it color. Change. And now, do dot server. Dot Lua if you want it to be server. If you want it to be client based, do dot client dot Lua, which means that yeah. So it can be a local script. Uh, 
and do dot lua for a module script. Now you want to add your variables. So let's type in variables here, and then you can just start scripting. So you, we're going to go game dot works space dot base plate. Uh, okay. And then we go. I right, know. And now we're going to go equals space space and now we can do base equals uh actually you can do local base if you only want it to go in this script which is what i want now type in base dot brick color wait um is it brick color i'm gonna check so let's go here let's go here um we're gonna click base plate properties and it's a brick color with a capital C. So that was good. Equals brick color dot new. And actually, let's do brick color dot random. Okay, now we're just gonna um, c control C. And now we're gonna do while true do. Paste this in. Type an end. Now do control S, reopen it, go to test, uh, you run. And the control S is important because it's going to save your script to the Roblox. Uh, did it crash? Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, I see the problem. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, Whenever making a wall to do, always do a weight around 0.2, and I'll save that with Control S, or by pressing a uh, file and save and save, and it says you can do Control S too. And now, once you do that, and then run it, uh, is it done running? Okay, here we go, and now it's changing colors. Uh, just like we scripted it to. Um, that's good. Oh, uh, so now uh, we actually need to press enter here and do um, body. Now that means we can tell that it's um, the body of the script. And there we go. Now we can just create a new script, new file. Name it door open dot server dot lua lua. There we go. Now we want to open up Roblox Studio. Go to Explorer. Create a part. Resize it and make a door, for example. Inside it. Now rename this to door. Anchor it. Inside of it, you want to add a proximity prompt, like so. Click it. Uh, click this. Um, you can edit this. Let's say open door. Uh, action. Uh, door. Oh, wait, no. This is door, and that's open door. Open. And uh, set uh, set the proximity prompts. Um, hold duration. So hold duration. Set it to 0 0.5 for a good amount of waiting. Now um, you're gonna um, go here. Go to the door open. Type in variables like so. Now go to um, local door equals um, game dot workspace um, dot door I believe yeah now we're gonna ah no we're gonna open up the body oh body. You don't have to have the variables, it just makes it easier to work if you're 
doing professional scripts. Now we're gonna do um door. Well, I don't know. Door dot triggered. Is that how you spell triggered? Yeah. Um a uh, colon connect. Function boom uh boom. I think that's what you do. Yeah. Now you wanna do door dot um door dot no um door dot can collide false now do door dot transparency I believe equals 0 0.5 now let's end it and let's control s let's play the game so play here and if we scripted this correctly it should work Oh, always make sure to publish your game uh, once you think you're done with the script or if you want to save it and uh, hold it. Obviously, we made a mistake, but if you scripted it right, then it should work. That's all I wanted to show for today's video. Bye. I hope you uh, learned something. And bye.